What we look out for is the uh, touch and feel of the bag as well as uh, certain features we seek out for. The colour has to match the year it was produced and the leather has to match uh, the colour that was produced. And then uh, beyond that, uh, MS has also introduced new tweaks to uh, the stem, uh, where the position of the stem as well as uh, the font of the stem. We will always match the colour to the year of production. So for example, this is a menti colour and menti should be only uh, be made in 2011, hence uh, it will always come with a matching pea stem uh, embossing. And this is a bamboo. Bamboo is only made in our year, which is 2014. So if you see a bamboo bag bearing a different stem, you should be uh, more uh, cautious uh, or wary of this bag. Uh, this is Rouge Casa. So we must match uh, the color of the year of production. We must also match the leather with the color. So the Rouge Kassak is only made in Epson leather and uh, Clemens. Uh, if somebody offer you a Rouge Kassak Togo, for example, again, uh, you should be uh, fairly aware that uh, this may not be a genuine article. Hmm. The ostrich bag is coveted because, you know, it is an exotic leather and MS makes very limited quantity of it. So bag with raised paws, uh, you know, you should be alert because uh, all MS ostrich bag would be flat um, because the leather would be iron prior. Then obviously, that's just the characteristic of the leather. Uh, certain other things we look out for is always the font consistency uh, in terms of the font engraved on the sankle as well as uh, the year stamped that's uh, inside. Uh, we also look at consistency in terms of stitch count. Uh, there must be certain adherence uh, to what we know, uh, as well as the position, uh, positioning of the hardware. For example, the base start must be of a certain distance away from the edge of the bag, as well as the shape of the base start uh, has to be consistent uh, with what we already know.